Hello and welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew and you know what today is. Today is day 30. I'm switching from NVIDIA over to AMD. So seeing as this is the last one of this series, um, I kind of wanted to go over a few things and, um, and kind of give you my overall recommendation for what you should buy um, going forward, at least for this, this, uh, this, this generation of graphics cards. Um, that started obviously with the 4,000 series, 78 or 7,000 series. Uh, when we get to the 5,000 series and seven or 80,000, 8,000 series, um, we'll we'll definitely revisit this and look at the specs of each one that's coming out, and then I'll make my decision based off of that. And that's kind of what I do, man. I don't sit and surf around to other YouTube channels and all of the other guys. Like I don't do that. I look at the products. You know, and, and then I kind of make my decision based off of that. I I, I knew that with the 3080, I was going to have to upgrade for this generation of games. I, I already knew that. Like, I absolutely knew that I was going to have to upgrade that 3080 10 gig just wasn't going to do it. So I looked at both product stacks. I looked at the 4000. I, I looked at the, uh, the 4080, the 4070. 4070 Ti. Those were the three I was kind of bouncing around with for for an Nvidia upgrade. Um, and then I looked at the 7,900 XT. Uh, I, I kind of looked at the 7,900 XTX for a minute, but then I just decided I was like, you know what, man, I don't know if I want to 100% jump all the way in with AMD on their top card. Like, I don't know about that. Um, so I, I went with, I went with the card that was closest to what I paid for the 3080. Um, I, I think this, I think this card here was, was about, Forty dollars more than what I paid for the 3080, so so I wanted to give it a fair chance and spend about the same amount of money, you know, for for that card and and see how that worked out. Now I had the 3080 10 gig um, from Gigabyte with the uh, the, the Gigabyte OC. Um, after just a few days of having the uh, the uh, 7900 XT, I was more than comfortable uh, selling that card off. Well, I kind of sold that card off so that I could, you know, so that I was forced to um essentially forced to to have to adapt to amd like i i you have to you kind of have to because if you run into problems or you run into issues you're you're gonna just instantly throw your other thing back in because you know that works and then, and then you're just gonna move forward and and it and i and i needed to not have that type of a distraction why i'm doing this why i'm going through this why i am 100 percent putting my my channel my day-to-day -day operations for everything at the uh, like on amd like it's all been amd i haven't <laughs> i haven't strayed at all since i've gotten this card it has all been amd 100 powering this channel 100 powering my games and 100 well i would say 50 percent powering my games because i still play on my xbox and ps5 so but you, you know what i'm saying it's been that driving force for the channel and for my productivity and my editing and all of that stuff for the last 30 days consecutively, no breaks, no nothing. Like I've put out content every single day using this card. So with that said, there are, <clears throat> there are some things, and this is the recommendation that I'm going to make. I'm going to make this early on in the video so that you can decide if you're going to jump off or you're going to move forward. I firmly believe that yes, you should choose AMD right now for your graphics card. I, I do. I, I firmly believe that. This 30 days has taught me that like, hey man, AMD is a serious player. They can definitely get the job done and and leave you feeling satisfied for, for the most part. Unless, you, unless you're that person. If you're that person that just has to have... Uh, you know, like ray tracing and that forward, forward thinking type of stuff that NVIDIA brings. Okay. May, maybe, maybe this card isn't for you. Okay. Maybe AMD is not for you, but for the majority of gamers out there that are on a budget that want to have their cake and eat it too. AMD is for you, man. Like this is a, this is a solid experience with this card. So let me break some stuff down to you. And, and the reason why I recommend AMD is I want to break down why, what I think Nvidia stands for in my mind. And if you've been at this channel for a while, you know that I always seem to come out swinging for the underdog. As you can see the Xbox series S right here, 
I always I, I I always tend to to swing or bat for the for the underdog, you know, with the Vizio TV, um, with all of these things. Now now in no way, shape, or form does that say that PlayStation Five isn't an amazing p console, or that or that LG isn't an amazing you know TV. I'm, it's never been about that. It's never been about trying to make the PlayStation or any other brand look bad to upsell you some sort of product that that's almost as good. No, it's it's about the fact that you can still enjoy all of these other products and be just fine with that. So with Nvidia, this is the way I see things and this is what turned me off from Nvidia and and forced me into the arms of AMD. This is this is exactly what it is. Nvidia seems to bring out products that have forward facing um, next gen tech. I mean like ray tracing, AI, all of these things, right? And, 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 and that's true. They do. They 100% get credit for that. Their stock price 100% proves that their fan loyalty is another thing that proves that. But here's the kick. Here's the kicker. Here's the, here's the kicker, man. Like when you buy an NVIDIA product, and I know this is how everybody feels because this is exactly how I felt. I felt like I got the best. And I, and, 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 and I felt that way. I felt like, yeah, this is, this is awesome. When I got that 3060 Ti and I was playing games, I felt good. I was like, yeah, this feels good. When I got the 3080, for the most part, I felt, yeah, this is good. But I mean, there was like a seven month gap in between 3060 Ti to 3080. You see where I'm going with this? That, that constant, like, oh my gosh, I gotta, I gotta have, I gotta have, I gotta have. And, and you feel that, like you immediately feel that once you get an NVIDIA product, you're like, oh my gosh, I know there's better out there. I know there's better out there. I know there's better out there. The next stack comes along two years later and you're like, oh my gosh, that card outperforms the one I got right now. And it's, you're, you're just trapped. I feel like you're just trapped in this never ending upgrade cycle when it comes to NVIDIA. And it's not just the fact that like, it's not just the, I mean, like most of the time, the product that you buy is obviously a good product and you can keep using that product. Like I could have used, there's, I, I could have pushed that 3080 10 gig a lot farther than I did, but my mindset being broken because I'm a console, because I'm a console gamer, I wanted like, oh, I got to have my 4k 60, blah, blah, blah. And, 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 and that, and that mixed with the, oh my gosh, dude, the new Nvidia is the best. And it's got this and it's got that was continuing to like, it, like it was kind of driving me nuts to be completely honest with you. Knowing that like, oh my gosh, there's better out there having a channel feeling like that, that FOMO all the time. But I'm a pretty down to earth individual. Like I am, I'm pretty down to earth and I could see what Nvidia was starting to do to me. Like it was, it was starting to, like it was starting to keep me in this perpetual, like, man, I got to upgrade, man. I got to upgrade, man. I got to upgrade. I, I, I need something new. I need something new. Um, essentially making me want to spend money just to show it off. But here's the thing, man. I look back at all of it. And, and you, you guys watching these videos has helped me realize this. I've looked back at all of that content that I made for Nvidia. Nobody cared. Nobody cared trying to get into a, and, and this is going to help you, man. If you're, if you're a, if you're a content creator and you're looking for your, your way to, to start making something or start gaining some, some views or start bringing people to your community, this, this information is going to help you. Nobody cares about Nvidia. Nobody, nobody cares. They already know. They already know everything you're going to tell them. If, you, if you're somebody out there like me that has to pay for their own things, like buy graphics cards, buy anything to get your name out there, NVIDIA is not for you. NVIDIA is not for you. Nobody cares. Nobody's going to watch your content when it comes to NVIDIA. You might get a few clicks here and there. Like you might, you might get up to a thousand views or something, but that to me, if you're spending money on NVIDIA graphics cards to try to build a channel or to try to get your name out there, stop doing it immediately stop doing it you will get more clicks from an intel arc gpu for a fraction of the price than you will ever get for an nvidia product because nobody knows who you are and nobody cares they're gonna thumb through they're gonna see your video they're gonna watch it for a minute and then they're gonna like you, you might get the clicks so please don't waste your money trying to further push the nvidia thing like everybody knows nvidia is number one same thing with playstation man like i cover playstation content because i love playstation 
there are lots of other big channels out there that cover PlayStation. So the chances of getting those clicks on PlayStation for me, I'm actually, PlayStation's been pretty decent. PlayStation's been a pretty decent driver. Same with the Xbox. Getting into, just getting into like the console space after there's so many already well-known people out there. It's hard and you're going to have to work every single day at trying to make content. But NVIDIA, like I'm saying, and this all does, this all, I know this sounds like a ramp, but this all does come together to, to show you that like the NVIDIA, the NVIDIA PR, the NVIDIA quality, the brand, everything just kind of it is like a, is like a driving force to get you to continue to spend money on NVIDIA products. That's not a bad thing. NVIDIA makes a good product, but they do kind of go out of their way to make it so you are going to be chased. They, they, they design their products in a way that it's going to make you feel like, yeah, I got the best, but I could have way better if I just upgrade. You know what I mean? And, and I see people falling for that a lot. And I, and I see it in the, in the, in the comments that I read, you know, the people telling me coming to the, coming to the channel and be like, Hey man, it's 29 days of you trying to justify buying an AMD card, man. I'm like, no, dude, I, I'm happy with my AMD card. Like I'm good. Trust me. This thing's pretty cool, man. I like AMD. I like the fact that like, I, I do. There's so much to like about AMD. There, there is. There's so much to like about this card, about the software, about the the performance and everything that I'm getting in these games. I'm, I actually just finished downloading Baldur's Gate 3, so you're getting some content for that. Uh, <laughs> but there's so much to love and care about, like, the AMD stack that, like, when, when, you, when you weigh it side by side... <laughs> And you're and you're and you're thinking about it, and you're like, "Gosh, dang, dude! Like, let let this sink in for a minute. The closest price competing card for the 7900 XT is a 4070 Ti. A 4070 Ti is going to run you anywhere from. I, 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 I was looking at them today; they were like 849 at, at like. Um, I mean, I mean, you might be able to get them a little bit cheaper than that, but 850 dollars is more than I paid for a 7900 XT that has significantly more power than that 70 than that 4070 now well that 4070 ti and so i was thinking you know and and i have been thinking about maybe building like a test bench and maybe getting a but here's the thing man like i don't necessarily care about nvidia i don't really care about amd either like i don't care i don't care about these companies i just want to buy a product that's going to allow me to do what i want to do i don't want to have to buy a product and then feel like oh man you got to upgrade your product again you got to upgrade your product again. Like, I don't want to feel like that. And new games coming out really made me feel like that. And it really kind of bit NVIDIA in the butt for me as a customer of theirs. When I, if I ever buy another NVIDIA product again, I will be very mindful about what I am buying. Very mindful because, ooh, man, that is such a, such a freaking hamster wheel to get on. It is. And I, I don't know, man. I kind of feel like, you know, the upgrading part of NVIDIA, it, it has to do with like the, the social, the, the, there's like a big old social, um, like, like the social pressure of it as well. Like, like, like that has to go in it, especially if you're, if you're, if you're just a regular gamer, you go out you buy your stuff, you take it home, you play it. You don't watch a whole lot of YouTube or any kind of stuff like that. You're probably okay. Like you're probably okay. But if you're, if you're in here now and like, everybody's like, Oh my gosh. And you're like a tech person. You like to watch tech news and you like to look at this kind of stuff. And you like to, you like to think about it and talk about it and all of that stuff. You're in that social construct to where you're going to be like, oh my gosh, man, like I got to get the new NVIDIA card. It's got DLSS3 and it's got frame generators. And, and dude, I, I, I love how, I love how crafted, like even when every other YouTuber out there is essentially telling you that NVIDIA cards are not worth the money right now, because it's true. And, and they do say that, obviously they're like, oh, these are too expensive. <laughs> the, the way that they are able to like turn that around and talk about the features and like instantly give you FOMO is absolutely insane. That is how strong the NVIDIA name is. The NVIDIA products like, oh my gosh, man, like they start talking about it. They could sit there and tell you for a half hour, this is absolutely a trash product. Do not buy it. But then when they start talking about the, the features and all of that stuff, boom, instantly. Every every negative thing they said for 30 minutes is completely gone. And you're like, oh my gosh, I need a 4080. It, it, it's really that powerful. It really is that powerful of a product. 
in terms of, you know, it, it is synonymous with absolutely the best. It is. It's 100% synonymous with the best. And when you feel that sense of pride for buying the best, you feel good about it. You feel good about your purchase. But then, dude, you're already like you're already instantly regretting it sometime. I, I bet I bet a lot of people regret it. They're like, oh, man. Oh man, it's just a little bit better than the last one I had. I got a 15% increase. Like <laughs> it, it's insane. It is insane. And there's a lot of freaking psychology that goes into marketing these products. There is like you, you, you just have to understand that, that like the psychology of having or buying the best, even if it's like the bottom of the stack, you still feel superior to somebody that's got a 7,900 XT. You're like, well, I got an Nvidia card. I mean, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's that bad. And, and some of the Nvidia guys do kind of, kind of do, you know, rub me that way. Like, wow, dude, you really like, okay, whatever. I don't, I don't care too much. I've had my fill of Nvidia so far. Um, <laughs> I want to try AMD. So now let's talk about AMD and why I recommend AMD. Like I said, I'm sorry, this one's all over the place. This might be a little bit longer video, but why do I like AMD? Why do I recommend AMD to you? Why, why do I feel like you should get AMD over any NVIDIA product that is out right now. Well, first of all, the 30 series are pretty much not obsolete, but technically obsolete if you want to play new games into the future, at high refresh rate, high frame rate, unless of course you're going to buy a 3090 or a 3090 Ti. Um, all the rest of that stack is going to be a compromise one way or another. You're going to have to compromise on that experience. Uh, most of the a most of the AMD stuff from their 6,000 cards, you know, anything with like 16 gigs of VRAM forward, um, those are still technically uh, usable products that you can continue to utilize. You know, at, at resolutions of 1440p, 1080p, a little bit stronger, still have some of the bells and whistles, all of that stuff, and still be able to have a playable experience. I like that about AMD. I like the fact that they have the they might not have the best drivers in the world. They might not have the best quality ray tracing or any of that, but you still get it. You still get ray tracing. You still get all of these features that everybody's like, oh man, you, you don't have that. The only one thing that NVIDIA has got over the AMD stack right now is frame generation. And, and I mean, like, obviously DLSS is incredible. DLSS is enough. It's DLSS on its own is strong enough to sell these graphics cards to people that are just like, oh yeah. And they, and, and I did when I, when I added, I'd flip DLSS on for literally everything, everything I was doing, uh, you know, I, I would just flip it on because I was like, yeah, I mean, it's got it. Might as well flip it on. Boom. And, and that's what you do. You just get into like this, this little, uh, this little mindset of that. Uh, since I've had this AMD card, I, I don't flip on FSR. Like I don't, I, I don't, I don't feel like I need to. I, I feel like if, if I'm gaming at 1440p resolution, boom, I got a solid frame rate. If I, I, I don't go to 1080p, I don't have a 1080p monitor, but at 1440p solid. Uh, when I, when I jump over there to 4k and I'm playing like a, a bunch of different games, some of them I'm running at 6k over 60 frames. Some of them I'm running at 4k over 60 frames. Some of them remnant two. I'm not talking, uh, you know, remnant. I'm, I'm, I'm at 40 frames, but you know, there's, there's a thing like I've got enough room to play around with this card that I, that I feel comfortable about that. I, I feel good about going into the future of these next games. I mean, the, the true test really guys is going to be Starfield. Starfield is going to be that test for this card to like really show me if if this was a was a solid buy or not, you know? I mean, if I can get 4K 60 out of that game with my my current build, I would be satisfied with that. Like I would be satisfied. Um realistically, I'm pretty sure it's going to be from like 40 to 80 frames a second in between there. That's probably what it's going to range on this card. I that's it's kind of my guesstimation of 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 the uh the experience I feel like I'm going to have with that. But over the long haul, um, and, and for me as a content creator, as somebody that actively relies on the graphics card to produce content for this channel, I have zero problems with it. Like I'm not upset with it. Now I know that a lot of people are going to be using, um, th th there are certain types of content creators, but I feel like gaming content creators, I don't necessarily feel like you're going to have a really hard time with this. Um, I haven't tried like Adobe Premiere Pro or any of that stuff just because I, I've got CyberLink PowerDirector and it works just great. It works just fine. It's a seamless experience. 
Don't have any problems with it on NVIDIA. Don't have any problems with it on AMD. It just runs and it just works and everything. See, that's the thing. I find myself in a... I find myself in in a, in a in a in a peculiar circumstance when it comes to this channel and the way I create content and what I do. Uh, I I could have went for like Adobe or could have went for any of that stuff, but I was like, you know what? I just want something that I can buy and install on my PC and use. So I found Cyberlink Power Director on Amazon. It was a hundred bucks. I was like, all right, whatever. I'll give it a try. It was like, do do. Put it in there and and I got used to it. I started using the program and it's great. I like PowerLink. Um, uh, I like CyberLink Power Director. I think it's awesome. I use it for all of my editing whenever I need to edit things. So that's good. Um, another thing, I like to I like to record and and do my content in one take. So using the uh, the Adrenaline software, the record the uh, the um, uh, the shadow, the shadow play with, with AMD's, um, adrenaline software, I'm able to get on there. I hit it. I start recording. I do my talking. Um, I know that I got to address the sound and the video games and stuff, but I like to do that stuff impromptu and let you see exactly how things are going. I, I feel like that to me is more genuine. Now it, now it does create a little bit longer form content. And, and I know that your, your time is valuable. My time is valuable. All of that stuff. I know that it does create like a longer form content. So it might not be good, but I am starting to utilize timestamps in those videos so that you can just be able to jump right ahead and see what you want to see and, 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 and move on and, and move on with the rest of your day, because I don't expect you to watch my half hour videos. I mean, I would appreciate it if you did, but you don't have to sit and watch all of those. Um, Power consumption is something that people are always talking about when it comes to the AMD cards. Last generation, the um, the NVIDIA cards were, were running a bit a bit warm. This generation, the AMD cards are running a bit high. There, there's no way to sugarcoat that. There's no way to sugarcoat that. Like right now, the AMD card is going to run at a higher watt like it is. Um, maybe, maybe down the road, they'll get a driver update or run better. I, who knows? Who knows? That's something that is is going to be on a on a on a person by person basis. If that is something that really bugs you, then you're going to have to pay more for the Nvidia card, and that I mean, like that sucks. That that really does suck, man. And and I would hate to see that be, and and I mean, I get it. In 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 like Europe and other places, um, energy stuff like that right now is 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 pretty expensive. So I do get that, and I do feel. Um, I do feel bad for you guys, and, and, and that really does suck. I would love for you guys to be able to jump on AMD and save some money. But I, I also do feel like you have enough options in the Adrenaline software to, to like play around with your with your, um, with your your voltage and your power and all of that stuff and, and, and kind of like tone the, tone the card down a little bit to, to get, you know, a better power rating. But at the same time, you know, if NVIDIA is giving you more power at, 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 a, at a lower rate and you, you can afford that, I don't know. That's that's a tricky one to try to offset the you know the, the the power usage like it is. And I I know I don't take it seriously because it's not something that that's constantly on my mind about this. Um, in terms of like my 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 PC running hot, this this case is awesome. It keeps everything pretty cool. So so I don't feel like that. I don't feel like my my stuff is running hot. It feels pretty cool. All the air that's coming out of here, you know, feels feels fairly cool to the touch. It feels like it's got good airflow. It's nicely ventilated. There's I, I don't have any way for it to be like any 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 kind of intrusive stuff stopping, you know, airflow or um, stopping it from being cooled down. So <clears throat> at the end of the day, I do recommend AMD right now over the over the NVIDIA cards. I feel like you're going to find <clears throat> I feel like you're going to find that if you go with AMD, you're going to have a good experience. You're going to have a solid experience and you're, and you're going to, I feel like you're going to appreciate it more and, and it will, it will kind of change your mindset a little bit. Uh, because once here's the thing, once you see exactly what these cards can do and you, and you experience that by yourself with, without having to, you know, worry about what Nvidia is doing or any of that stuff, you're, you're going to, you're, you're, you're going to immediately see that like, Hey man, this, this is actually pretty dang good. This, this, this is way better than I expected it to be way better than you expected it to be. So you're going to be like, yeah, this is cool. And then it's going to change your mindset. You're going to go from like, Oh man, 
I don't, I don't need the best anymore. Like this is, this is dang good. And it, it will help change your mindset so that can at least help you get off that hamster wheel for a little while. And then, you know, at, at least reboot your mindset, reboot who you are, reboot what you're, what, what you want and what you're looking for in PC gaming. Cause I kind of just feel like a lot of people gravitate towards Nvidia. That's what I did. That's, that's why I'm saying it. That's why I'm projecting. I, I just kind of feel like a lot of people see Nvidia as the best and that's what they go for. They don't give AMD that first chance. It's not until you've been in the Nvidia for a while that you even start thinking about switching because of the, the things that Nvidia does to you, man, they take advantage of you and that's, that's okay. I mean, like they obviously make the best product, so might as well take advantage of the people that, that want to use those products, <laughs> especially if you're not going to buy the best. Jensen said it himself. The more you buy, the more you save. And he wasn't lying. You either buy the top of the line or you're going to be buying another card soon. He he said it like it, it it's not a lie. It's it's an open secret. It's like, hey, man, either buy the best card. I'm going to sell you every two years or you're going to or either buy the best card. I'm going to sell you. So you could get through four or five years or go buy a middle card and upgrade it the next year for more. And you're going to pay more. More than what you would have paid if you keep playing around with that, with that, with anything under the top of the line. It's, it, it's, he said it himself, man. That wasn't a lie. He was being serious. So, but with AMD, I do kind of feel like, you know, they have to keep their prices low just so they can compete. But at the same time, when you look at the product, when, when I look at the, the quality of the product I got with the 7900 XT and the amount of money I paid for it. Um, I'll tell you what, it wasn't even like it being on sale that I, I was going to buy it regardless if it was like $700, $800, $900, you know, whatever the cost was for it. Um, <clears throat> that's, it just kind of worked out to where I got a, to where I got a deal on it. But you know, at the, at the end of the day, you know, I, I, I probably would have paid the 900 for it, but I'm glad I got to pay what I did because that puts it a lot closer to what I paid for that, for that 3080. So at the end of the day, this kind of worked out a little better, but when I look at the quality and the performance and everything that I'm getting out of this AMD card, it's absolutely incredible. I'm 100% I'm satisfied with this, and I do recommend AMD. I, I, have, I have no skin in the game. They don't send me any free products. I'm actively using it. You could see it in my PC right there, XFX. I'm actively losing, using this product and putting my money where my mouth is, and I do recommend AMD right now over, over NVIDIA, like I just do. So if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.